All right, but welcome back to Ox Talks. It is Thursday, August 1st, 2024. Thank you for being here, watching the show and my other shows. If you're subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, I would ask that you please do so. It uh, helps the channel out. We're trying to grow this community. Please hit the thumbs up uh, button and the bell notification as well. Uh, we are hemorrhaging subscribers. I'm not sure why. Uh, but I just ask that all of you guys support the channel. I know that my regular viewers do that. And so it's important that we continue to get the word out. That's the purpose for this channel. That's why I do this. Uh, I'm not here uh, for the, the few dollars that it, that, that it brings in. I'm here to try to do my part uh, after you know, living through the great financial crisis and the dot-com bubble and being a, uh, a professional during those downturns. And boy, if you guys are paying attention today, the stock market, uh, is it just a simple, uh, you know, is it a blip or is this the beginning of something larger in terms of a sell-off or decline in the markets? You have a lot of different uh, voices out there saying different things. You've got you know, a guy like Greg Manorino who was out there saying, look, this is a nothing burger. It was a simple you know, 2% pullback on the NASDAQ, uh, less than 2% pullback on the Dow today. Uh, it's a nothing and we keep buying. Obviously, then you have the other camp saying, well, look, uh, things have been so inflated for so long. When does the party come to an end and when does this thing start to sell off? I am reading that book right now, continue to work through it on the depression. Uh, from the 1929, 30, 31, it's amazing. And it's actually, it's actually a, a diary from a, a business owner that lived through that. And he was keeping notes almost every day or a couple of days, a diary about what was happening in this local community in the Midwest. I'm going to share that book with you once I complete reading it. I don't want to endorse anything or make comments till I complete my review, my reading of the book and my due diligence on it. So far, it, it's, it, it's amazing to see what was happening. But a lot of what was happening with the stock market was that everybody was buying into the dip, thinking that the market had bottomed. And it turned out that it didn't bottom until like summer of 1932, when it started to turn back up. The people that bought uh, in 1930, 1931, you know, on the advice of all the, the market pumpers of that time, uh, lost great fortunes. Same with real estate. People that bought in the real estate market at the wrong time lost entire fortunes, went bankrupt. So it's, it's an amazing, I think, um, let's say, story to tell that harkens back to the Great Depression and... I'll share it with all of you once I finish it so we can discuss it, analyze it more. Uh, we had a lot going on today. Briefly just said that the markets sold off, uh, metals sold off a little bit. Uh, the 10-year uh, yield was down. I saw at one point 11 or 12 basis points. So what is going on here? Do we have a stagflation situation coming up? Uh, the Fed comments yesterday uh, were, eh, I mean, indicated that they might be prepared to cut in September. And the question is, is that going to be too late? Will the economy already be in a recession or if you believe we're already there in a depression by that time? Uh, you know, it, it's very possible. We know the Fed's always playing from behind. We also know that a lot of this probably is just planned, right? The Fed comes in and only decides to cut rates after everything is literally crashing and melting down. So will this be a repeat performance? It very possibly might be. And are they destined to hand uh, Donald Trump when he, uh, when he wins the presidency, are they des destined to hand him uh, a horrible economy that literally is crashing? Uh, that may be by design. Again, leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Did return safely from uh, Italy yesterday. Thank you for all your comments. It was a long day. We woke up at 4 a.m. 
uh, in the morning, Italy time yesterday, boarded a plane at 9.30 a.m. It was a 12-hour flight, direct flight from Italy, from Rome to LAX, 12 hours, and then had a, shot, had a, uh, a car take us back out to the desert. That was another three and a half hours in rush hour traffic. So I was just beat last night. I think I went to bed about 8.30 my time. Uh, but we had been up for, you know, obviously we picked up nine hours, but your body doesn't know that. So it was, was exhausted. Got today, my normal time, got my eight hours, uh, was in the office today working. Just didn't have time to do a video and hit the workout afterwards. And now I wanted to get something up. I know it's a bit late than, later than usual, but because of the day today, because of the stock market sell off, I wanted to discuss that. We also had a U.S. manufacturing survey collapsed in July. This was uh, came out this morning from Zero Hedge. It says the start of the third quarter saw a deterioration in business conditions at the U.S. manufacturers as new orders declined for the first time in three months, according to S&P Global. It says S&P Global U.S. manufacturing PMI falls to 49.6 in July, dropping into contraction for the first time since December of 2023. ISM manufacturing PMI plunged to 46.8, expected was 48.8. This is the weakest since November of 2023, as it's near post-COVID lockdown lows. Rubbing salt in the wounds was the fact that prices paid rose while new orders tumbled and employment uh, says went to the lowest level since the COVID lockdowns. So we have a problem with manufacturing. I saw that Amazon reported earnings this afternoon after hours. Uh, they missed on their revenues. And Amazon, last I checked, was down after hours about six and a half, seven percent. What they're saying is they have competition from other, you know, Chinese companies like Timu, Timu. Uh, but look at the reality is if the consumers can't afford Amazon prices now and are going to other less expensive alternatives, what does that mean, right? Uh, it means that these consumers, as we know, are literally tapped out. There's no more gas in the tank. There's no more credit available on the credit card lines. Uh, the HELOC, uh, the home equity line of credit has been tapped. And of course, now they're having to find a way to make all of these monthly payments on this debt uh, that's been accumulated by the consumers across this country, uh, thinking that nothing was ever going to be bad, thinking that they wouldn't lose their job, thinking the interest rates were going to be quickly reduced and they could refinance all this stuff. And of course, none of that has materialized yet. In the meantime, we have a major slowdown in the economy. The jobs market is weak. Uh, we're going to get some, some numbers coming out, I believe, tomorrow on the unemployment. So we'll see uh, what happens if the market sell-off continues? I will say this, the futures right now for the U.S. stock market are down pretty substantially. Uh, gold and silver did sell off a bit today, and they're down a bit this evening. Look, that's not no surprise to any of us. Uh, we know that when the economy starts to take a big, big, you know, say, in-your-face stock market recognizes it type downturn as a sell-off, you do get an initial sell-off in the metals as well. That means gold and silver. And so expect that. That's what happened in 2008, 2009. Uh, although the metals recovered pretty quickly, whereas the stock market did not recover that quickly. So again, I'm not uh, I'm pushing any one asset class. I am. When this market comes down, I'm going to be in a position uh, to start scooping up uh, a share. So I'm not anti-stock market. I'm just anti-stock market at bubble levels, okay? I'm also anti-housing market at bubble levels. I guess one could argue that we're in bubble levels with gold and silver. However, with the, the rate cuts most likely coming, uh, with the 10-year yield continuing now uh, to plummet, I just don't see any continued downside of the metals, not financial advice, it's not economic advice. Uh, I'm just sharing some thoughts with all of you. So we're about 10 minutes here today. I just want to come on and say hello and say thank you for everybody who made comments about the trip and the photos I posted and the video shorts. 
Uh, I did my best to kind of bring you guys into the experience. It was amazing. And most importantly, I got to spend 21 days uh, with my family, uh, with my wife and my, my two daughters that normally I, I don't get to spend, right? Because I'm at the office all, all day. When I come home in the evening, I'm still, you know, still unfortunately not totally detaching from that work environment. This gave me a chance to really, really do that. And thank goodness the practice was uneventful. Nothing blew up. I had, I had uh, in hindsight, you know, organized everything properly. So nothing happened. It was quiet. And I actually got to, to step away from all of that melee and just spend quality time with the family, experience and make tremendous memories in uh, in you know in Paris and in those cities in, in Italy that hopefully all of you get to see some of that footage that I shared. So thank you again. Appreciate the growing community. I back in the in the in the fold now, so I'll be able to start uh, responding to your comments on a more regular basis. Uh, we are going to get that live stream going. I'll work on that this weekend. Maybe we'll do the first live stream this weekend. Maybe we'll do it Saturday. Um, I want to have the, the laptop set up so I can, set up so I can see uh, your comments and I can uh, respond live as appropriate. On my phone, on my iPhone, it's hard for me to see those if they're scrolling up when I'm actually um, talking and, and recording. So again, thank you all. Let's see right now what's going to happen. Is this sell-off going to continue? Because if it does, look, the wealthy are in the stock market, Okay. Uh, my friend today uh, lost a lot of money in the market. I think it was near, I don't know, forty thousand dollars. I think it was all said and done by the end of the day. So it's the same guys, you know, uh, that continue to think that look at you just keep buying in. You buy, buy, buy. You buy the dip. And again, this book I'm reading shows from the Great Depression era that that was a major mistake. Obviously, the guys that timed it properly and saw the bottom and the turn and started putting money in the market, you know, they built generational wealth. And that's going to be the same thing here, guys. Um, if you have some dry powder, look, I know a lot of you are day to day, week to week, uh, I, I, paycheck to paycheck. I understand that. But for those that do have some dry powder, there will be a time, I think, coming sooner than later to deploy capital in the markets uh, in, in the real estate, which I've already shared with you that I plan on doing. I see cryptocurrency has been selling off pretty substantially. I don't quite understand that. I don't, if you guys can comment below, I don't know why they're selling off. What am I missing? Um, you know, if they are, they're not obviously a safe haven per se. Well, look at gold and silver sold off too. So everything is selling off. The dollar was up a little bit today. So, uh, maybe that was just the kind of knee jerk reaction. So I'll leave it there today. I did have some other articles to share with you besides the manufacturing and discussing the stock market. But I don't want to go too long. I got the workout in this afternoon. I'm still kind of fighting the jet lag issue. So I was tired, but look at I went and got that done. I'm in town. It was there. I, I had to make that happen. And my plan is to, to hit these workouts every day for the next 10 days uh, to get myself back to where I was just before I left. All right. I, I walked a lot, got some workouts in but it wasn't at the level that I'm accustomed to doing. The diet, you know, obviously, understandably so, got a little bit weaker because we were partaking in uh, the, you know, the, the local food and there's pastas down there and wine and all that. So plan to get back on the regimen. That's what we all can do. Just refocus, rededicate, get it done, watch the diet, get the steps in. I'll leave it there today. Thank you all again, and I'll talk to you uh, most likely tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, I'll come on and try to do a live stream Saturday and figure that whole situation out so you guys have some advance notice of that. Hopefully you can join me and we can start this, this live stream as well as part of a, an additional component of this channel. Talk to you soon. Bye.